That's a slow, tough process in exports. It's a slow, tough process operating in Ireland. The same thing applies. And the majority, and a lot of the time, is look at what the lad's doing down the road and let's copy him. He's making a few quid out of that. And the next thing is two units is divided by two. And after a while, there's price cutting and the price is going down. And all of a sudden, what happens? No one making money. And it's all tears from there on in. And, you know, the way times are today, you don't want tears with the bank manager because they, so they, they solve them fairly quick from, from, from what I see compared to last year. <coughs> Um, this Frisian bull that you see here. You were talking about getting it wrong. Uh, uh, not, the, not the bull. <laughs> um, this, this is a product that we did. It was, a, it was an insulated water drinker. And you know, we've been selling them for 15 years. And we might have sold boys, what do we sell in Ireland? Do we sell any? I think we've sold a few to somebody for bulls. But this thing keeps water from freezing at minus 25. It works quite successfully in Poland, in Germany, and where they get, like, it was, it was minus 22 at the end of November in Poland. So you can imagine, and it's between minus 10 <coughs> and the best night, but up to, up to minus 25 or something. So this thing works perfectly, provided it's installed right, and you want to be thinking about freezing water when buildings are being put up. Great innovation, great product. And we, we, we were doing this for years. Never saw them like Did we make a boo-boo with it? Yes, we did. We went to all the countries, Germany and all, all of them, and uh, Poland. If the Polish fellow saw them into Russia, they were great. And then we saw them into Norway and Sweden. Worked great the first year. But you won't believe it, but the, the, from the south tip of Norway or Sweden, to the north tip is something like 3,000 kilometers. I think it's even 3,500 kilometers, which is a pretty long way. <coughs> and when we introduced these things with that shows at the south of the country, and as it started to work well, they started to move north. Mm -hmm. And we had everything right. We had the right product. We had it in the right place. We made a profit out of it. And the one thing that we didn't understand, we didn't understand the map we were selling into. Why? Because it goes to minus 40. And these things went in, and they went to buildings, and they put them in. And they said they're great. And the next thing we started getting phone calls, hey, this thing is a block of ice. Now, we had a lot of other stuff. One year in, 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 in uh, Norway alone, we lost 100,000 on, not because, because that thing failed, because we hadn't our homework done. And when these people get products, they expect it to be right. And you don't get a second chance to make a first impression, and we blew it. And we had to gather up our tools, go around the country, bring them all back, and just wipe that. It, it had a serious effect on us. And it affected all the other products, because we had into maybe 50 or 80 stores. And these were the, these countries are so big, they don't go down to the co-op like you do. They do. A lot of it is done by mail order. And there could be hundreds and hundreds of miles away, and the stuff was delivered to their door. And it was a complete and total disaster, and, and we've lost our... Uh, so the modern story is product development can let you down. And like we went to the wrong place, we have the product work well. Have you your product right? And the other thing about that is, are you prepared to take a hit if this thing doesn't work out? And have you something in a rainy day account so that you're not going to get your ass beat by your bank manager when things are not happening and you kind of create sales? Because literally, that's what it's all about, is, 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 is the, the, the making sure of what cash flow, the <coughs> cash going in, cash going out, and that you keep a bit for yourself in the in the, in the exercise. Communication, I suppose the big word there is the most important one is communication. Again, if it's leader that supports or whatever uh, uh, enterprise, important that they know what's going on in the good and the bad. And the same with the bank. They do not want surprises. Believe me, I know because I have surprised them a few times. And they don't like them. They do not like them. <coughs> and they like, they like to know what's on, on, the, on the ground. And the other thing is the team that's working with you, and I'm just talking to my own people, that they know, need to know what's going on in GFC. 
and I don't want to give them surprises. And we've had our tough days and our bad days, and they need to know when things go wrong. And that way, everybody is happy, and you know, it, 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 you can deal with it, and you can deal with it not a lot easier. So, a bit like politics, please. Really. No, it's a surprise. Um, talk to people on the ground. I have Enterprise Island here. Talk to your leader, program, or whatever, or a couple of the Enterprise Board, whoever, whoever might support your ID. Uh, just an important thing there from tracking shows and that. Enterprise Island have an absolutely brilliant website. And they have a thing on it, and it was my idea. I'll put it up on it where there is trade shows, and the trade shows and trade missions deal with nearly every different aspect of business all over the world at some time. So if you, you have a sort of database there of shows, whether it's software, whether it's agriculture, whatever it is, and tap into that and use it, and it, it, it is a great tool. Targeting new markets. Well, I said that's what we're on. Joint venture. Yes, we've done that. We've done that.